Hello, everyone. Can you all um, hear me? Okay, I forgot to change the date. <laughs> okay, awesome. We'll give a minute or two and then we're gonna start. Yeah, so thank you for your patience. Um, yeah, I'm glad um, it worked out. And yeah, last time because of technical difficulties, we had to move from May 9th um, to today. So I'll introduce myself. So it's already seven, maybe we'll wait a minute uh, for some more attendees and then we're gonna start. Okay, I guess I'm gonna start now. Um, just to check one more time, um, you all can uh, please uh, type it if you all can see the slides properly and you can hear me properly. So then I'll start. Can you all see the slides clearly? If you can type in the chat. Yes, awesome, awesome, perfect, thank you so much. Um, let me introduce myself. Uh, my name is Shamli. I have been uh, with Vision for about two and a half years now. And I'm the product manager for uh, three different portfolios, Exosome Research Products. We have about 250 different products under this portfolio. I'm also the product manager for biochemicals, as well as um, for all the molecular biology tools. So today we're gonna to mostly focus on the exosome research products that we have. I'll initially give you an overview of all the products that we have, and then I'll go into details of the exosome products. So what are exosomes? They are the divine messengers. Back in the days, it was considered more like a trash bag for cells. But now as more and more research are going on, they are the intracellular messengers, like, sorry, extracellular messengers carrying messages between two cells. Okay, let's, oh, what's my next slide? Okay, my slide's not moving. Okay, I don't know what's going on. Okay, so coming to my next slide, so I'll give you an overview of um, the different portfolio we have, Biovision's over, overall portfolio, exosome product highlights, what are exosomes, giving you more explanation about what exosomes actually are. And then I will go into details of the different products categories we have under exosomes and who are our potential customers. Okay, it should be playing. I don't know why it's not playing. So coming to Biovision's overall portfolio, we have the SA kits. As you know, we are known for SA kits. And then we have all the protein, antibodies, portfolio, biochemicals, and we have supporting tools. Biovision, we are basically the tool makers for drug, for drug discovery research. And the new portfolio that we added is our exosome research. So the exosome research portfolio, we have these major categories. We have, as you can see, I'm not sure why it's not working. Okay, so we have the exosome isolation tools where I will talk about the different kits and reagents we have, different immunobees, immunoplates we have, which are immunocapture based products. Recently we added exosome columns as well, size exclusion uh, based. 
Then we have the exosome quantification kits, which are mostly the ELISA kits and the fax kits. Then we have the exosome DNA or RNA isolation kits. We have exosome antibodies, which um, we have both molecular or monoclonal as well as polyclonal antibodies. And then we have lyophilized exosome standards, which are basically purified lyophilized exosomes from donors. It could be from like from healthy donors. It's a pool donor. It could be from plasma, serum, urine, saliva, cell media. And we recently launched some fluorescent exosomes. That's why I highlighted in red. So we do have fluorescent um, exosomes for uh, exosomes from plasma or from serum or saliva or cell media. Now coming to what are exosomes? So exosomes, as I mentioned, they're the divine messengers. So they're released. They're the homogeneous small particles, which are ranging from 50 to 20 nanometer in size, and they originate from endosomes, as shown here. And then they fuse with the neighboring cell, or it could be the far cell as well, with the plasma membrane of the uh, next cell. It could be close or far. Now, exosomes, they're, different, they're secreted from different tissues, and usually they're transported through biological fluids. They can be readily isolated from different body fluids like serum, plasma, or you know, urine or cerebrous spinal fluid. And these exosomes, they are rich as shown here, they're rich in many proteins, small RNAs, they have DNAs, they have lipids, they have cytokines, different growth factors. And we provide, Biovision provides all these tools to study the, the extract the DNA from these or mRNA or messenger RNA or microRNA from these exosomes. So now I give you an idea about what are the different portfolio we have. So in the next couple of slides, I'm gonna go through individual uh, subcategory. Like I'll talk initially about the exosome isolation tools in my next slide. So under the exosome isolation tools, we have kits and reagents. We have immunobeats-based uh, exosome isolation. We have immunoplates-based, which and in immunoplate, we have luminometric, like white plate or black plate, which you can use for uh, fluorometric, uh, fluorometric analysis or downstream luminometric analysis or just a colorimetric analysis. And then we have the size exclusion columns as well. So in this slide, I'm talking mostly about the exosome isolation kits that we have. These are filtration-based isolation of exosomes from biofluids or cell supernatants. As you can see from the transmission electron um, TEM analysis, you can see a good morphology. So these isolation kits, we are able to isolate exosomes. It's more intact with a good morphology. You see a homogeneous distribution and the purity, we have seen the purity is about greater than 90, 95% purity of these exosomes. Um, on the right-hand panel, you will sh see the transmission electron microscopy showing the, like a, you are, when you purify using this kit, the morphology is pretty intact. It's a good morphology and you see a homogeneous distribution. In panel B, you see the DLS analysis, and you see a, like a, we have compared the ultra acidification, which is the original way of isolating exosomes. And side by side, we did our kit, exosome isolation kit. And the, when you compare, you see the purity, the particle size is pretty same. It's a particle analysis. It's a dynamic light scattering analysis. And then panel C, we did the RNA isolation analysis for ex from exosome, which is isolated both by um, ultra centrifugation as well as, I hope you can see this, as well as, um, oh, I don't know what's happening, um, as well as with the, our isolation kit. RNA analysis is like it's pure. And we also did the Western analysis on the exosomes isolated. And then we did the, you know, you just slice the exosomes and you run on a protein gel 
and we use some uh, exosome marker like CD9 or flotillin. And you can see it's pretty comparable with ultracentrifugation and our kit. It's an easy and fast protocol. It's time-saving and cost-effective. And from these, you can see the anion analysis or rested analysis you can do on the isolated exosomes. So these, using this kit, the isolated exosomes, they're pretty compatible with the downstream analysis. Um, do you have any questions? Uh, please let me know if you have any question. I'll, I can like uh, wait for a second to know if you have any questions. You can just type it here if you want. Okay. So now moving on to my next slide. Okay, so next one is the exosome isolation reagent. So this reagent is mostly a PEG polymer based chemical precipitation of exosomes. So using this method, you can isolate all the exosomes from biofluids or cell supernatants. It's easy and fast one step protocol. You don't need any ultracentrifugation. As you know, ultracentrifugation takes like overnight, it's a long uh, process. But using our reagent, it's very time-saving and cost-effective. You can use any sample volumes, even small sample volume. And we have shown uh, on the right-hand panel with the NT analysis that the, you, when you isolate from the whole plasma, the pure exosomes, and post-purification, you barely see any, um, any exosome left. So you're basically able to isolate all of the exosomes present in the plasma. And on the right-hand panel, it's a Western blot analysis we did with exosomes purified from ultracentrifugation or with our reagent. And LX1 is one marker, one of the marker, exosome marker. So uh, what we do is that, so you use your PEG polymer reagent and you incubate your cell supernatant or biofluids for one hour on ice. You spin and you get the exosome pellet. Now this pellet can be used for nano tracking analysis or DNA isolation or Western blood, blood analysis or for ELISA assay. So again, this tool is also, this exosome reagent is also compatible with downstream analysis and it's pretty cost effective. The third one I'm going to talk about is the exosome immunobeads. So, Immunobeads, it's immunocapture based. So exosome has many markers like CD9, RAP5, LX1. So we do offer many exosome beads based on the, your protein of interest. Suppose you are interested in CD9 based purification of exosome. We do have CD9 immunobeads. We do have LX1 immunobeads. Uh, sorry, we are working on LX1. We do have RAP5 immunobeads. We have CD63 immunobeads. We have CD81 immunobeads. So based on your need, you are able to specifically isolate any specific exosome marker expressing exosome. That gives you the flexibility. The caveat of this is you are going to miss the exosome. Suppose you are able to pull down the CD9 based immunocapture, but then you are missing the CD81 or CD63 exo uh, marker expressing exosomes. So it's pretty simple. It's a single step isolation, no pre pre purification These are basically antibody coated latex immunobeads. So either it's CD9 coated or CD63 or CD81 or RAP5 coated latex immunobeads. You can use as small as 100 microliter of volume of plasma to begin with. And the beauty of it, the beads can be reused. So in general, you can regenerate the beads for about three to four times. It's also time saving and cost effective. It's easy and fast protocol and it's easy to store. And as in the diagram, you can see that after you isolate the exosomes, you can regenerate the beads, you uh, read and the exosomes are isolated, you elute the exosomes, and then you can use these exosomes for other downstream analysis. On the right hand panel, uh, it's, uh, we have shown that we have one ml of uh, 500 microliter, 100 microliter 
of human plasma we started with and we used Alex one base. Uh, this is the amino B. Uh, we did the exosome isolation and then we did a uh, Western blood analysis using exosomes. And the panel seven is the isotype coupled. So you don't see any band here. And panel eight is the ultra fused exosomes isolated using ultracentrifugation from one ml of human plasma. So you can see the purity of it, that in, in, a, in a, like a dose dependent when the amount of plasma is decreased, you see the bands fading out. Similarly in panel B, we have, so exosomes are usually secreted more during cancer, uh, in cancer cells or during cancer progression. So nowadays exosomes are being studied as a, exos as a more like a diagnostic marker. So it's, it's known in the field that exosomes carry the signature where they know during metastasis, they carry the signature where to metastasize. So now knowing the, um, knowing the composition of exosome, researchers are trying to use that as a diagnostic marker. So in panel B, we showed that from healthy donor exosomes were isolated and from cancer exosomes were isolated. These are two different exosomes. Uh, we have exosome kits for immunocapture for uh, both overall exosome isolation and specific for some tumor derived exosome. So as you can see in a healthy donor versus cancer, when you overall capture, you do see uh, like you can, you capture a lot of exosomes in it, but tumor, uh, when you use the tumor specific in healthy donors, you are not able to see the exosomes, but when you are uh, in the cancer patient, you are to able to see the exosome. So these are more like tumor specific immunobeats for exosome isolation from tumors. Um, but we, when, if you want to use overall exosome isolation, no matter healthy donor or cancer, then you can use the overall exosome uh, immunobeats. So we have all those uh, subcategories as well. Okay, the next um, slide I'm going to talk about the immunoplates. So immunoplates are also immunobased. It's antibody-based. So this is also antibody-based Im coated immunoplates you are using. And it's also a single step isolation of exosomes from biofluids or cell supernatant. You don't need the pre-purification. So this is an example that this is a immunoplate where you have the antibody and the antibody binds to the exosome markers and these are the exosomes. So that's how you will receive the plate. Now you put your biofluids or cell supernatant of interest and your, your cell supernatant or your Biofluids, they are going to exos, ex, suppose this is a plate coated with CD9. Now your exosome expressing CD9 is going to bind to this antibody coated plate. And that's how you're going to use the exosome isolation. So it's a quantitative and uh, simultaneous qualitative analysis. So downstream, you can use these plates for ELISA assay as well. There is no significant cross reactivities observed with soluble antigens or other vesicle associated protein. This antibody are pretty specific. And you can use as small volume as 100 microliter of plasma or serum or urine or even uh, cell supernatants. It's time saving and cost effective, easy and fast protocol. So on the right hand panel, we tried to show the CD63 protein profiling from exosome. Uh, which is derived from different cell supernatants. So we used immunoplates to isolate exosome CD63 coated plate we used, and we isolated from colo one BLCL21, all these different cell lines, HEC293. And as you can see, the exosome isolation. You can see exosome isolation uh, from different cell lines using this. It's an easy and fast protocol. And these kits are very easy to store. You can just store at uh, four degrees Celsius. So the next one I'm going to talk about is the exosome. These are one of our recent product exosome isolation columns. So uh, these are size exclusion columns <coughs> for the isolation of highly pure exosome from either biofluids or cell media. Um, so it's for exosome extracellular vesicle purification from pre-isolated exosomal vesicles, 
And we have different size columns. We have mini, maxi. We have like 500 microliter up to 2 ml. Or we have smaller columns, 100 microliter up to 500 microliter. Some are very fast, easy and fast protocol, approximately 15 minutes. And the isolated exosomes are suitable for multiple analysis, like our other kits as well, like NTA nanotracking analysis, or ELISA, or FACTS, or Western blot, or even electron microscopy or DNA isolation. These columns are easiest to store and ship at four degree. So on the right-hand panel, I'm trying to show that you, we use the size exclusion columns and we used human plasma and we were, we collected 24 different fractions, 500 microliter each. And then we analyzed by ELISA. And then we side by side, we did a BCA assay. And then we sh showed that the 14 to 24 is all the plasma circulating uh, proteins. And we were able to isolate exosomes in this from uh, six to 11. So that's six to 11 highlighted there you see the maximum exosomes isolated using these columns. So um, yeah, so these are like, you have many options to choose from. We have three different kinds based on the amount of volume you're interested in. I'll, I'll take a second. Um, is, can everybody hear me properly still? Please type yes or so that I know um, everything is going smooth. Awesome, awesome, thank you. Um, so now I'm going to talk about the next step is the exosome quantification kit. Now that you have isolated the exosome via different methods, it could be isolation tools, or it could be reagents, it could be beads based, it could be plate based, it could be column based. Next one is quantification. So for quantification kits, we have the ELISA kits and we have the facts kits. So I'll initially focus on ELISA kits. So what are the ELISA kits? So these are patented double sandwich enzyme linked immunoassay for quantitative and qualitative analysis. So for in this diagram, so there are basically two different antibodies. So when you receive, you will receive a plate with the antibody coated on the plate. And there is another antibody provided in the kit, another antibody. So when you put your exosome uh, containing plasma or serum or cell supernatant, now the antibody that is coated on the plate, you, most of the time it's a pan antibody or sometimes it's a monoclonal antibody, one antibody. Now the exosome expressing that, suppose CD9 is coated in the plate and now exosome expressing the CD9 will bind to the plate. All the exosome expressing CD9. And then you, we are also offering a second antibody in the kit which is like CD9 or CD81, depends on what kind of um, plate you are interested in. And then that's how you're quantifying it. Then we are providing a standard in the kit as well. So you are comparing your exosome standards with the exosome isolated from your plasma or serum or other biofluids or cell supernatant. And then you're doing a qual qual quantitative measurement analysis of your exosomes. It's a highly sensitive um, technique, it detects even low exosome amount. It has high affinity and low background for exosome binding. And you do not need any initial exosome purification. So you take the plate and you put your serum or plasma. So no purification is needed. And you're comparing your unknown, like your exosomes in your unknown sample, like um, uh, in plasma, serum or other fluids with your known lyophilized exosome standard, which is included, we offer in the kit. And the beauty of this kit is we offer many different exosomes of your choice. Suppose if you're buying the exosome ELISA kit for cell supernatant and you are interested in certain cell line like a colo one cell line, we're gonna give you the lyophilized exosome standard from colo one cell, something to compare with. If you're interested in exosome ELISA kit from plasma, will provide the lyophilized exosome standard from the plasma, from um, healthy donors. And this, this plate, oh, sorry. And this plate, it, um, it comes in a strip format, so you can use some and save it for later. 
and you do have option for colorimetric and luminometric detection for the kit depends on what you are interested in colorimetric or luminometric detection okay so i guess i kind of explained that um, so your first antibody is provided in the plate you are adding the exosomes and then second antibody provided in the kit and then you have a hrp conjugated uh, secondary antibody that will bind to the fc region of your that second antibody that you have and then we provide a substrate and it generates a color that is what you are going to measure using your plate reader okay now coming to the fax kit another way of quantification so we so in the exosome fax kit the first step is using the exosome uh, reagent which is the peg based polymer based purification you isolate the exosomes and since exosomes are so small many fax machine you cannot use those directly you cannot use those exosome directly in the fax machine so you have to use the fax beads that we provide in the kit so the exosome pellet it combines uh, then you have to incubate exosome pellets with the exosome the fax beads and then you put it in, and then you incubate with the like a fitzy antibody and then you pass it to the fax machine and do a fax analysis on the purified exosomes so basically two steps exosome isolation with the pellet then incubating with the fax beads and then that's how you are isol you are studying the um exosomes via fax analysis so what are these uh, fax beads these are 4 micron aldehyde sulfate latex beads for fax analysis and then we have the primary antibodies included in the kit and then selective capture and flow shorting of purify distinct subpopulation based on a particular marker so here you have antibody uh, i think it's a fitc for now we are offering only the green channel and then in this case also we have the ifilis exosome standard is included and it has been characterized for the protein content as well as particle number so that's what you are going to compare with okay now after quantification we have the exosome nucleic acid isolation kit um so in the exosome uh, nucleic acid extraction we have both dna and rna isolation kits so coming to the dna extra, uh, isolation kit here as you can see for dna isolation kit we have two varieties so there are two steps so first is the exosome isolation and you have two options here either you can do the precipitation based exosome isolation or you can use the filtration based exosome isolation and then the next step will be the isolating the dna column based purification from the purified exosomes you can start with a very small sample volume you can use either biofluids any of the biofluid fluid like serum plasma urine or you can use cell supernatants from any cell type it's also a pretty fast procedure time saving procedure and you can uh, profile both the circulating and the exosome associated genes like you can isolate uh, dna isolation um, from these exosomes and also for the dna extraction we have included the lyophilized exosome standard in the in the kit so either way if you want to do a very um so if you um, want to use peg based you can use for exosome isolation or you have the option to use the filtration based as well now coming to the rna extraction of uh, exosome kit so rna extraction kit we have only the immuno capture based purification of exosome isolation and then column based purification of rna from the isolated exosomes so rna uh, kit it's more specific in terms of like um, these are immuno beads so you have the option of cd9 based immuno beads or cd63 or cd89 based so you, it will be more selective isolation of exosomes and then you isolate the rna um, just like um, ethanol based rna extraction purification and then elution it's also a fast protocol high yield of total rna including small rnas it's a fast and user friendly protocol time saving procedure and we have lyophilized exosome standard is included in this kit 
It's also characterized for protein content. And these are all from purified uh, from healthy donors. Okay, now the um, coming to the lyophilized exosome standard, which you are gonna use as a, like a more like a positive control or uh, standards in ELISA assay or uh, for DNA isolation or facts. So the beauty of our exosome standards are we offer a wide variety of uh, purified exosomes from plasma, serum, urine, saliva, cell media. Uh, and from the cell media, as you can see on our website, that there are many options to choose from. Sometimes if you don't see anything on the website, you can just email us what cell media you are interested in. And then we will see if it is possible for, or if it's a good business decision that we can you know, develop that exosome standard from that particular cell media. So how they are made, they are like these exosome purified lyophilized exosomes are highly pure, stable. They are very easy to, easy to reconstitute. You just dissolve in water. It's easy to ship, easy to store. You can store up to 36 months. These, they are purified through both ultra centrifugation and then they are quantified and validated for overall protein content and particle number by nanoparticle tracking analysis. That's how it's done. It's quantified, lyophilized, and then packed in individual vials. So you can buy, I think, both 30 microgram and 100 microgram options you have. So you can use this for, and we do offer a, as far as your control study, and we do offer a wide variety of cell media and other biofluids to choose from. Now, the, coming to the exosome antibodies. So we are constantly developing exosome antibodies. So we do have monoclonal antibodies and polyclonal antibodies. And all these antibodies are validated for either Western blot, ELISA, FACS, immunohistochemistry, or for immunoprecipitation. And the immunogens we used are all the exosome associated antigens. So these antibodies have been tested and validated for antigen reactivity. And they are very sensitive and specific, and therefore various application as mentioned in our data sheet. Suppose it's example of CD9, a detection by Western blot. And this is another antibody where you see the CD9 sta staining by, by a fax. So this is the peak for the CD9 purified exosomes. So you have, we have many options and we are constantly developing new exosome antibodies as well in-house. So to give a like a summary of what are the products we have. So for exosome isolation, we do have filtration based exosome isolation. We have PEC polymer based immunoprecipitation, uh, a PEC polymer based precipitation of exosomes. We do have immunocapture based, which is immunobeads and immunoplates. And we have size exclusion columns for exosome isolation. For exosome quantification, we do have ELISA kits and we have the FACS kits. So for ELISA, you have many antibodies to choose from. For FACS kits also, you have the options. For nucleic acid extraction, we do have uh, two different kinds. One in the, for the DNA, we have both immuno um, filtration based and PEC polymer based isolation followed by DNA isolation. And we have immunocapture based exosome isolation, and then we have the RNA isolation from the purified exosomes. For the antibodies, we do have exosome monoclonal antibodies and exosome marker polyclonal antibodies. And then we do have the exosome standards from biofluids from different cell media. So now who are our exosome research customers? So that's the question we always get. So all the, um, you know, all early discovery research, both in academia and pharmaceutical research, uh, people who are in the, those researchers, they are our biggest customer. What kind of field they have to be? Exosome is everywhere. You can study exosome in cancer research, if you're studying neuroscience. So recently they found tau protein as one of the content in exosomes. So then the idea in the field is maybe if when they found tau protein in those amyloid plugs, so they're like how maybe it's the exosomes that has the signature. And that's how you see 
you know, cells which are far. And you still see that's how the maybe the, the those amyloid beta plugs they are getting by widespread via exosomes. Exosomes can be studied in infectious diseases, can be studied for cardiovascular research, stem cell research, and biomarker discovery or drug discovery. So exosome is has been now uh, in in some um, I think there are two biotechs they are trying to study exosome as a diagnostic marker. Like if you know the composition of exosome, it seems you will know the progression of cancer. Like exosome carry the signature right to metastasize. So exosome is the divine messenger that carries the message from a, from a point of origin to the place of metastasis. So in conclusion, we have actually more than, I would say more than 200 products. I would say around 230 different exosome products. We try to uh, have all the frequently asked questions on our exosome research page on our website. Um, so we try to put as many as FAQs questions over there to answer most of your question. But again, anytime you have any question, feel free to email me or send it to tech at biovision.com and I'm happy to answer that question. So thank you so much for your time and I'm happy to take any questions. So our next training will be Eliza Essay Kits. That's on June 25th. Um, and I will, we'll uh, keep you updated about the time later. Uh, Carla will be sending out an email. And so here are the different people in our marketing. So for business and development and marketing, we have Dr. Bhatt. Then for me, I have three major portfolios, exosomes, molecular biology tools, and biochemicals. For our in-house assay kits, we have Gustavo. For protein and antibodies, we have Dr. Shweta Pahujani. For Eliza kits, we have Carla. And uh, Sunitra, Dr. Ray, Sunitra Ray, he's no more with Biovision. So we have a new tech support person, Michael Inman. And however, if you have any questions anytime, um, you, know, uh, you can email me directly as well, and I'm happy to answer. So here I will end. And um, so let me know if you have any question and, um, or comments. I'm happy to take any question comments. You can type in the chat box and I will be happy to answer. Thank you so much for your time. And uh, please let me know if you have any question, comments. You can just type in there. Oh, thank you. Yeah, you can type in the uh, in the chat section and I'm happy to answer that. Uh, looks like nobody has any questions. Maybe I'll give you a minute or two, and um, if you don't have any questions, then I'll, I'll wait. But yeah, anytime you have any other question about exosome research or any about any of our portfolio, you can contact any of us and. Um, We'll, we'll send you the email, we'll, we'll send you the response.
Okay, looks like nobody has any questions. So um, thank you everyone for your time. I really appreciate that. And thank you for sticking with us for the last time, you know, when uh, we had some technical difficulties. So you all have a great rest of the day and um, shoot us an email if you have any question, if you think about any other question later. Thank you so much. Bye now. Okay, then I will log out now. I will end the meeting here. Thank you.